Hello and welcome to Big Scott 35. Uh, what am I? Nerdy Thursday. I had to think about what, what's going on. It's uh, December 22nd, uh, 22. Uh, just a quick reminder. Well, reminder too late. I, I know uh, that the PlayStation was doing a half off on their. Uh, Sub, sub, subscription packages or whatever it's called uh, for the year. Um, so I hope y'all took advantage of that. If you're a gamer, um, you get free games and stuff like that. And uh, so I have my, I finally got my PS5 hooked up and I've been playing uh, the uh, Gotham Knights. Uh, I'll talk just briefly about that. So you got four characters. You can play as any four. You can change it up anytime. It is a RPG, but at its core, it's a beat 'em up. Um, if you don't know what that is, you just go through beat up, beating up people. If you play the Arkham Asylum, it's a lot like that. Uh, but it's also got like a little bit of Assassin's Creed in it. I don't know if any. I didn't look to see what. Uh, I know Assassin's Creed, I, I have to look to see who made it to see if there's a little crossover there. Uh, but it, it's, uh, I, I, I need to get more into it. I've just started in it. Um, it is a lot of detective work. So you're kind of using like Batman stuff uh, as these characters. And, you know, it's a little slow moving. Um and a little repetitious, the, the, a lot of the same characters, uh, sculpts and just, they just get higher in level as you're beating them up. Uh, so as you level up and you c complete a level, they get, it, it's just, hopefully the more I get into it, the more I'm learning. Cause there's a lot of side stuff and it's a very in-depth game and it's, I play with Nightwing and I feel like I'm playing with Spider-Man because you I have a grappling hook and can, I can shoot it all over the place and jump and shoot it and never really land um and go across the the map really, really fast. Uh so you know, I was keep holding holding on for a little while to see what my verdict, my final verdict is. Uh, if you watch my card channel, um, I think which many of you do, the card part of my channel, I should say, same channel. Uh, I went to a show this past weekend. It was a card, toy, and uh, show, basically. It was all hobby stuff. Uh, about half and half uh, cards and non-cards. Non uh, there was some hidden gems in the cards over... If you were a Pokemon or I don't know it for that part, it wasn't that spectacular. Now, if you like some Pokemon, you would have been all right there. Um, but of course there was a lot of this there. So I picked up some Star Wars. This one, um, I haven't even seen these on shelves. Uh, this guy, he must order, you know, the sets or the cases pre-orders them. Um, this is the Clone Trooper 187th Battalion. He had a couple of other ones. You know, they just, same sculpt. They just color them different. And stupid people like me, like, oh, that's a new one. <laughs> Every Christmas, I like to buy one of the, the Christmas ones. This one, I believe, was from last year uh, with the ugly uh, child uh, sweater. Uh it's just, you know, holidays. They did have a couple of the Halloween ones there, but I, I just didn't want to. I could have spent some money at that one table. And this guy hooked me up with a pretty good deal. And this one here is from the Star Wars Droids uh, cartoon. And this is the Boba Fett from that cartoon. As you can tell, the color is different. Just how it was colored in that cartoon um i just thought it was very cool uh so they do like the comic books like this 
Uh, I know they do. They got the Star Wars droids comic book out. So that's probably where this Boba Fett is from. But they also have a cartoon with Star Wars droids. Uh, so the more I thought about it, I was like, oh, well, this is probably from the comic book, which is a. Uh, it, it's kind of like, uh, well, see, it even says the adventures of R2-D2. So their adventure series are more for children. When I say children, I mean like young children, like new readers um, and before middle school um, readers. So I don't read those. I know that's probably more my style, but I, should, <laughs> I probably could read those a lot better. I didn't really read anything this week. Uh, shame on me. Uh, but been a busy week, you know, holidays, uh, just trying to get things done. We had our Christmas party at work or holiday party. Uh, so that was it from the show. I was hoping to, last time they did that, I went to a toy show here. I found a couple of hard to find or not hard. It's hard. It Lesser made uh dreamcast games and they're the ones that are expensive they are harder to find but if you're willing to pay the price you can find them you know you got to really preference that like you know oh there's only two made <laughs> it's not like that but i've explained before you know some are a little bit tougher so i went to a small retro store in the city small but man it's it's uh a blast in there. They have great stuff and they use their little area as best they can. They also put on a toy show there on their parking lot out back. It, it And they're just having a good time there. It's just some people that just love video games. Uh, <laughs> uh, so as I was in there, I heard a guy say, oh, you could buy, buy one and get one for up to $20. So I had these two, Soul Calibur, which is, I mean, it. I think it was like twenty two dollars. I got, I got goo gone. I will eventually take off all those stickers. Um, just can't stand it. Uh, just makes it look. I want the art. I want to be able to see the art on the on the the book. I like to find the actual game in the jewel cases to, together. And then I had, I got this, uh, I think it was, yeah. So I got this Sega Rally, which was like 20 some dollars. Um, and it, so I'm in there and I've told you before about disc ride, right? So I'm in there holding up to the light, you know, looking to see if there's any light shining through it, right? Um, any little holes you can't really see with the eyes. It was a bright store, but, you know, still, you just want to double check. And the, the owner standing there looking at me, and he's like, looking for constellations? I was like, yeah, man, you just never know. And he goes, yeah, I don't blame you. So I, he knew I was an older guy. <laughs> I, I don't know if he knew I was buying for me. I always like to go in his places, and the average age is like 24. And here comes this 51-year-old guy coming in. Uh, and uh, so... It, it, they're good guys in there. They, they it, he was just joking about it. But the two free ones I got was the the Cate World. <coughs> so what I did was when he told me that, I went back and found like two that were eighteen dollars and nineteen dollars. So, uh, vanishing point. Uh, so I kind of, I really, <laughs> I might have to hit them up again. Um, I think it's called Retro. I forget what the name. I wanted to remember the name because it's a really good store. It's small, but they got a ton of games in there. They uh, are very knowledgeable. Um, and like I said, they just want to have fun. It's video games. And they have albums in there. Why, why be so serious, you know? Um, so then I went to GameStop. Uh there was a nice, it's a nice one um, in the, uh, let's see, which one did I go to first? The one by my Target is not very nice, but there was another one that's newer and has a lot. GameStops are not all the same. So there's some that sell more uh, figures. There's some that sell more 
pre-owned games. There's some that have more of the uh, the uh, import stuff. Uh, it's just whatever that store sells, uh, they'll start getting. I talked to a couple of guys, and like it, it's very on what that store. Not all the stores are the same. Some of them are even uh, decorated differently. Uh, so I can't, re- I try to remember which store. Oh, so this is the one by my Walmart. Had a lot more figures, uh, done up. It's a newer store. Um, so they had, I watched a, um, like a PS5 pickup video on, I forget whose channel. It might've been Metal Jesus and Reggie. I can't remember. And they said, this is cheap right now, but fun. So, again, it was cheap. I have memberships. I get it even a little bit cheaper. And uh, I think I paid... Must have already took the sticker off. But, yeah, it was like 10 bucks, I think. So, And, I mean, I love that move, those movies. Um, they're funny. Uh, that's probably my favorite Marvel series. And then they had half off EA games, so I didn't have the NHL 23. This is only like $35 to begin with, uh, so I can't remember. It was like 20 I think. So I got I got this uh, cheap, and it's the new. I always get the NHL game every year, that and the MLB game. Um, I try to stay away from playing it as much because once I start playing the, those games, I go down a rabbit hole really quick and I will lose all track of time and everything. Uh, my last pickup um, for the week, and I, I did pick up some stuff. Most of it was this weekend. I went to my Barnes and Noble. I had, I went through my, I had some gift cards. I found a stack. Who knows how long I had them. Uh, but I, so I had a Barnes and Noble gift card. I love bookstores. I can. I was in there for an hour and a half at least, looking around, um, just seeing what they had. Um, I was getting the sci-fi and the fantasy section, and just looked through everything. I, I like. I see books and I see stuff I want to read. Uh, but man, I, I I'm so into reading the Star Wars. It leaves me little time for other stuff. I love the history books. I went over. Uh, I love the uh, Revolutionary War period uh, in history. Um, so I, I geek out on that as well. Uh, I just don't have all the time in the world. And I've told you before, I'm not the fastest reader. Um, I read good. I read I read good, but my English is horrible. I read well. <laughs> and But sometimes my comprehension, I, I really do think I have some ADD or something um, but my mind will wander uh, and then I have to go back and read it uh, reading the uh, Fire and Ice series was really hard on me uh, those books and it's hard on everybody because it's like each one is a house each chapter and you got to go back and like see oh what are you talking so that was a tough read for me, even though it was a very fun read. Uh, but these Star Wars books, they're not um, they are not going to win any literary, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, trophies or anything. They are bestsellers and stuff like that just because of the community. Uh, but this is the Star Wars High Public. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about the High Public, uh, High Republic, I see High Republic, not public. Uh, High Republic. And this is uh, Convergence. So they took a little bit of a break. They throw a bunch of them out. I, I've been reading the uh, the adult. I say adult. The older comic books. They have a Adventures one for children. I, I, I haven't been reading that. It's more of like Junior Jedi. These are Jedi, I believe... 100 years before New Hope. They haven't even talked about Sith yet in it. They have another uh, group of bad guys. They're really bad. They're like pirates on the outer rim. And they built this 
station out there and centers around that. I haven't, I've gotten far into, into the, the uh, comic books, uh, but the books I haven't gone crazy deep in. They, now they have started making figures for these characters. They've started implementing them in them. They're the next chapter. From my understanding, from what I read, I get also I get Star Wars Quarterly magazine, so what I've read in there, it sounds like they're even going to start making movies and shows on this series eventually. Um, so I'll be interested. And I mean, uh, there's Wookiee um, Jedi, which I've always been talked about in other books, but they're actually in this uh, stuff, a different, uh, you know, I, I, I've read a book where a, uh, one of the sand people from Ty, uh, Tatooine is a is a um, Jedi. Uh, so you you get some different stuff in there. Um, I was hoping when they went to this, it wouldn't be Jedi influenced as hard. It wouldn't be all about Jedi. Would it? It could be, have Jedi in it, you know, whatever. But I was kind of hoping it would go in a different direction, and I'm still hoping. They do a Sith series on the beginning of the Sith. Now, in the Legends books, the Sith are around at this time. They have their own world, and I thought they were fighting. They were fighting the uh, the Jedi at this time from the Legends series. Now, you don't know what the Legends series is. It's the books that became out before Disney. When Disney took over, they created their new canon. And said everything else was legends. Some of the legends books are in the new canon, but they're also in the legends series. Yes, what I'm saying is true. <laughs> I can't make this up. <laughs> Disney just wanted to restart over and uh, outside the movies and uh, with the books and all that. So they tie in tightly so they can make it all tight in. Boom. We watch their shows. Everything ties in together. They really want this continuity. Um, I, I, hey, cool. Uh, <laughs> but that's that's all I got this week. Uh, just wanted to show off. I I didn't go out looking for stuff. I just kind of, uh, you know, haven't bought a lot of games because I was like, why buy the games at full price if I got so my catalog right now is humongous. So the only games I really buy when they first come out is if it's like a special edition statue or something like that, that I really want. I mean, that I have to like, oh, I need that uh, in my life. I'm on, <laughs> I carry on without it. But everything else is like, I can wait. And I know like some games it hurts because uh, Days Gone, I read the guy that made that like, Sony didn't ask for a second edition because everybody's screaming for one, a second game, and uh, it just didn't sell well. It sold better when it got discounted, uh, and now people are loving it. Now it's on the PC, and it's the second go around of it, and people are finding out how I love that game. I bought it day one. I got the statue. Uh, I thought it I, it was one of those games I could not put down. Um, just great characters. You can see where they were laying down for 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 another another one. You know, future games, and it's a it's a zombie move, a zombie move, zombie game, but in real like you know, it's more about the people than it is the zombies. But you you know you're you're killing killing the dead, <laughs> uh, the reanimated. So, and it's real fun, and it's. Got real actors and actresses playing in it. Um, it's it's pretty cool. So now I'm done. I'm done rambling. Uh, chatted on too much. You know, I could talk about. I haven't done was this number five, right? So uh, I don't want to give away uh, everything. You know, I just I want to I want to I want to keep the chickens, but give you the eggs, right? Um, <laughs> so uh, till next time. Like, share, tell a friend, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Doesn't cost you anything. Um, welcome to my new subscribers. 
Uh, I hope you enjoy this as well. So until next time, see you.